Hey, 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 what's good, everybody? This is Brandon with Tim's Fine Smoke Cooking. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we are in the kitchen with another edition of Smacking or Lacking. Today, we are going to review, boom, shore lunch chicken breading mix, spicy buffalo style. Bought this at the local Menards in their food section. Love chicken, love spicy buffalo chicken. So we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. Shouldn't take very long, simple steps. And uh, we're going to let you know if it is smacking or lacking. So you guys stay tuned. Let's see what's up. All right, guys. So I got a couple pounds of chicken. These are jumbo uh, party wings, if you will. The recipe calls for either four eggs beaten or milk. So you're supposed to take your wings, put it in the mixture, and then put it into the batter. So I, what I basically did, I just took eggs and added a little milk to it and then whisked it up. So that's what we're going to do. Then you're just supposed to put your load, take your mixture or your batter, put it into a Ziploc bag, and get ready to cook. So I've done that. I've got uh, my oil heating up right now. As soon as it comes up to temp, we're going to go ahead and get some of this chicken together, fried up, and we're going to see if it's smacking or lacking. So you guys stay tuned. See you back in a bit. All right, guys, this oil is up to temp. We're just going to go ahead and drop some of these wings in the egg mixture. Give them a nice little coat. Then we're gonna go into this batter. Seems kind of pointless to do this, but that's what the directions call for, so that's what we're gonna do. Alright. And these are jumbo. So some of them are a lot more jumbo than others. Alright. Into the oil. All right. All right, guys, so I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and batter up some more, get them fried up, and then we're going to uh, come back when they're about ready. I'll let you see how they're looking, and uh, we'll go from there, so stay tuned, y'all. All right, guys, I just wanted to bring you guys back in and let you see how they're looking. I did just put four of them directly in the batter and, uh, and fried them up that way just to see what the difference would be and if there was a difference in flavor or anything. It's clear there's a difference in the way the breading looks on them. But I did want to see if there's a difference in flavor as well. So we will find that out uh, at the end of the cook as well. So you guys just stick around. All right, guys. Just a quick look at that chicken. Now it looks amazing. You can see these are the ones that I didn't put in the egg batter. These are the ones that I did use in the egg batter. I have a, about another batch to go. I just wanted to let you guys see how it's looking. Looks really, really good. This chicken reminds me of the chicken wings you used to get at Ponderosa. I don't know if you guys ever heard of Ponderosa, but it used to be a buffet they had back in the day, and they had the best little chicken wings, so can't wait to dig in and see what it tastes like. Hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're done frying up this chicken. We're going to see if it's smacking or lacking. Now, here's the one that I did use the egg batter before I breaded it, or the egg mixture. Like I said, it reminds me of the wings you used to get from Ponderosa. It has the exact same look to it. The crust on it looks really good. And then here's one I just used straight into the batter with. I didn't uh, use the egg mixture with this one. So you can see there's a huge difference there. This one is more of a plain wing. Reminds me of something um, just like a plain wing that you might get from uh, Buffalo Wild Wings or something like that. So let's go ahead and give them a shot. I'm going to go with the, uh, the, one that, the, the one that was supposed to be cooked the right way. The one with the egg make mixture first. Okay. All right, short lunch. Hmm. Cook real. Now, that's really good. It's not spicy. So, 
but the chicken wing itself is really, really good. It's not, it's almost like it's seasoned just right. You want to add a little kick, put a little hot sauce on it, or you could have put maybe some cayenne pepper or something in the batter, the way it would give you a kick. But this is really, really good, really good. And I think the batter only costs two ninety nine, dollars so that's a plus. This is the one that was um, just regularly breaded. Too. Now there is a difference in flavor. This one that I use the egg wash on, it is seasoned a little bit more heavy. I guess it, it allowed the season to adhere to the chicken better, thus creating a little bit more flavor. Both of them taste really good. Uh, again, it's not spicy. It claims a spicy buffalo. I'm not gonna knock it because it tastes so good. So this here is snack. Woo, woo, woo. Give it up for sure lunch. Uh, Buffalo style chicken bread. I highly recommend it. I don't know, like I said, I found this at Menards in the food section. You probably can order online. It may even sell it in Walmart, I'm not sure. But I got it from Menards and I recommend it. If you're just looking for a good flavored chicken or if you struggle with seasoning your chicken, give that a shot because it has everything in it. It actually has like a really mild sweet undertone to it as well so it's really really good you don't have to worry about any salt you can either even add some you know garlic powder or onion powder to it black pepper or cayenne if you want to kick it up a notch but it's good so i highly recommend it i hope you guys enjoyed the video go on out and find you a box of that short lunch i think they actually even have more than just that one variety as well so give it a shot let me know what you think if you've tried it before leave a comment down below share the video and uh till the next time guys god bless you